Jacksonville Jaguars president Mark Lamping tells me it paves the way for the stadium of the future. It's the new partnership between the city and the Jags to build the team's $120 million performance center. It was approved Tuesday night by Jacksonville City Council. It's a 50-50 deal with the Jags leasing the facility from the city. Lamping and I recently talked about the 127,000 square foot plus training facility and more. It's an interview you'll see only on four. Well, it's really the first step in the stadium of the future. Uh, you know, we have nine years left on our lease here. We know that um, in order to uh, make sure we have a um, NFL football here in Northeast Florida for generations to come, which is what Shot is committed to, we know we're going to have to have a stadium solution. You know, the existing stadium certainly won't uh, serve the needs of our fans. Um, you know, for the next 20, 30 years. The facility will be built northwest of TIAA Bank Field. The Jags will move team offices and equipment room, weight training and medical facilities from the stadium to the performance center. It'll have an indoor practice field, two outdoor natural grass fields with about 2,300 bleacher seats, a team store and concession facilities. Lambing told me football's a year-round business and this new training facility will help pave the way towards stadium renovation. We also know that if we're going to get into a renovation, the way that works is you basically have your season and then you pretty much close the stadium for about eight months and you start renovations and then when you get to the, the end of that eight months you wrap up what you're doing or you close off piece of the stadium then you open the stadium up again for the next season and you know you do that over a course of, of three or four seasons and when you get done you'll have a total uh, a, a totally renovated stadium. And Lamping says there are a lot of reasons this partnership makes sense. He says it's a big investment for Jags owner Shad Khan and a big investment for the city. It cements the Jaguars, uh, you know, even stronger here in Northeast Florida. And I think all of us agree that, you know, having NFL football in Northeast Florida is, is, is good for the community. Next step in the process is putting together a construction team, which may begin as early as today, and coming up with a design that the city has to sign off on. Lamping calls this a fast-track project, and he hopes the Jags will be using the facility by 2013.